if you were to run program analysis on your own life, uh, how did you do in terms of correctness, running time, running time. resource well, use, asymptotically speaking, of course? Okay, yeah. Well, I would say that question has not been asked me before. Um, <laughs> and uh, I... I uh, I started out uh, with library subroutines and and uh, uh, learning how to be a automaton that was obedient, and I had the great advantage that I d didn't have anybody to blame for my failures. If I started getting not understanding something, I, I I knew that I should stop playing ping pong, and that, that it was my fault that that I was that I wasn't studying hard enough or something, rather than that somebody was discriminating against me in some way. And and uh, I don't know how to avoid this the existence of biases in the world, but I but I but I know that that's an extra burden that I didn't have to suffer from. Um, and uh, and and then I uh, I f found the uh, uh, f from from parents I learned uh, the idea of uh, of altru of service uh, to, to other people as being more important than than uh, uh, what I get out of stuff myself. I, I know that I need to I need to be. Happy enough, uh, enough in order to be able to be of service. But I, don't, but I, you know, but I, I came to a philosophy uh, finally that that I phrase as point eight is enough. Now, th there was a TV show once called Eight Is Enough, which was yeah. about a, 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 you know, somebody had eight kids. Okay. Um, but but uh, I I I say point eight is enough, which means if, if if I can have a way of rating happiness, I think it's good design that it, I, I, to have uh, to have an organism that's happy about eighty percent of the time. Um, and if if it was a hundred percent of the time, it would be like every like everybody's on drugs and and never and 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 and, and everything collapses and nothing works because everybody's just too happy. Do you think you've achieved that point eight optimal uh, well, balance? I, there are times when I when I'm down and I you know and I, 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 I mean I know that I'm chemically that I I know that I I've actually been programmed to be. Uh, uh, to be depressed a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. and 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 if if that gets out of kilter, and I'm more depressed than usual, you know, I, sometimes I, I I find myself trying to think now, who should I be mad at today? There must be a reason why I'm, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but I but then I realize, you know, it's just my it's just my chemistry telling me that I'm supposed to be mad at somebody, and so and so, so I trick it up and say, oh, okay, go to sleep and get better, um, but but if I'm but if I'm not a hundred percent happy, that doesn't mean that I should find somebody that that's screwing me and and and, and try to silence them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I but I, I, I I'm saying you know okay I'm not a hundred percent happy but but I, I'm happy enough to to, to, to be a you know part of a of a sustainable situation. So so that's uh, kind of the the uh, numerical analysis I do. Uh, I, I, I <laughs> You've do, converged uh, towards uh, the uh, optimal, uh, which for yeah. human life is a point eight. Yeah.